so we just just getting in the truck. First thing I'm gonna do is put my seatbelt on. All right, I'm gonna start my in cab inspection. And the first thing I'm gonna do, of course, my seat belt is on, my seat belt latches, latches and unlatches properly. All right, seat belt is not torn or ripped and it's secured to the cab and to the floor. All right, and all the bolts are tight. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is, see what he's got his. I'm gonna go, I got my spare fuses right here on the side over here i do have my fire extinguisher it is in the green and properly charged okay on the floor of my truck i have no debris that can roll around and roll underneath my feet that, that would may impair my my driving all right next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to my i'm gonna go to my far left as far as i can go which would be my mirrors. And my mirrors are clean and clear. They are adjusted to me. They're not cracked or broken. I'm gonna come across to my windshield. My windshield is not cracked or broken. It is uh, clean and clear. The seal around my windshield is 100%. It's not cracked or damaged and not leaking. My windshield wipers, uh, windshield wiper blades, are not bent, broken, or damaged. My windshield wiper blades are flush to the windshield and not cracked or damaged. All right. Now, I have, uh, in order to complete the rest of the uh, the end cap, I'm gonna have to perform a safe start. Okay. So I got my key here. I'll put the key in. To do my safe start, I'm gonna make show them that my transmission is in the neutral position. My brakes are locked. I'm gonna turn the key to the on position and I'm gonna watch also to see my ABS light come on, make sure it comes on and goes off. There's the ABS. My computer is resetting and it went off. So now the computer's reset. I'm gonna put it on my clutch and I'm gonna start my truck. And then I'm gonna slowly release my clutch. I can, next I'm gonna go to the, uh, I'm gonna go to the uh, steering wheel area, right? My steering wheel, properly managed, secure. City horn works, air horn works. Left turn signal works properly. Right turn signal works properly. Hazard lights are working properly. Turn my lights on. I can see that my bright light indicator is working properly. All right, we'll go up here to my gauges. I got my oil gauge. It is at the proper operating level. My water gauge is working properly and, and rising. My fuel gauge is working properly and I have ample amount of fuel for today's operation. My primary and secondary uh, air gauges are working properly and they're building air. Uh, and I have my tachometer and speedometer working properly. All right. I do have 14.1 volts on my battery. So it's at the proper operating level. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna check my defroster. So I'm going to turn it all the way to the hot side, the defrost, and all the way up. My defroster is working properly. Heater is working properly. Turn that back off. All right. Now I'm waiting on my air pressure to build up to 120 pounds so I can do my air brakes test. I'm listening for at 120 pounds, approximately 120 pounds, I'm listening for the release valve or pop-off valve. have to 
it'll get to a certain point and stop at that 120, you can't get some off. They want to hear that pop off. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my tug test. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the, the truck in a forward gear, and I'm gonna check my trailer brakes first to make sure that my coupling is, I'm still hooked up, and that my trailer brakes will hold. So I'm gonna release my truck. And I'm gonna slightly tug against it. There go. Trailer brakes are holding, back to neutral. Now I'm going to check to make sure that my tractor brakes are holding. So I'm going to put it in the forward gear, release my trailer, truck brakes are holding. Now I'm going to do my service brake test. So I'm going to release both brakes, I'm going to put it in the low gear, and I'm going to go to approximately 5 miles an hour. I'm going to get it rolling. Clutch. Stop. Now my service brakes are working properly. Back to neutral, pull my brakes. That's my air brake test. Now I'm gonna perform my air brake leak test. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build my air pressure. I did use some of the air performing the air brake test. So now I've gotta build my air pressure back up to 120 till I hear the pop off. There's the pop off valve. So now I'm gonna perform my air brake leakage test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the engine off and I'm gonna turn the key back on. This is gonna let my computer reset and I can hear my low air warning buzzer and see my light come on. So I still have my hand on the key, I just turn it back to the on position. I'm gonna put the truck in a forward gear, any gear, just so, and the reason I'm doing that is so the truck won't roll. And then I'm going to release my brakes, both brakes, and I'm going to let them settle. Once the brakes have settled, I'm going to hold my foot on the brake for one minute, and you'll have, you'll have to time yourself for one minute. Now, with a DPS, you can ask them if you've got a watch, can you keep my time? And they will. But if you've got your phone, you can go ahead and set it on 60 seconds before you release those. And we're going to sit and wait. I'm watching my both my gauges to make sure that I, I don't lose any more than 4 PSI in one minute. Let's say it's been one minute. Okay, you do need to wait the full minute, right? Okay, it's been one minute. I haven't lost any more than four pounds. So now I'm going to start fanning my brakes to, and I want to check to make sure that my low air warning buzzer and light are working properly. That should happen around 60 PSI. And there they are. So they're working properly. Now I'm going to continue to fan the brakes until between 20 and 45. Both buttons should pop out. Keep going. If this one don't, one don't pop, they did, I guess. Both of them did. And that completes my air brakes, my in-cab inspection. Let's say that you got here 